Hello everyone, in this video we will be creating a smart contract by using Hothead and we will deploy it to Phantom Testnet and we will also connect it to an HTML page by using Express Server. So to do that, create a folder in, on your computer and open the command line on that folder. And the first thing to do, we will be installing a few packages. Express will help us to create our server, hardhead we need it. Ethers will help us to connect our contract to the front end. Dot .emv we will need it so that we will be saving our sensitive data in this file without revealing it to everybody else. And also hardhead toolbox and hardhead ignition, they are two system packages. We need them to deploy our contract and now we can press enter. The packages are installed. Now I will initiate hardhead project by saying hard mpx hardhead in it and just say yes to, I mean, just press enter to all questions and you will be fine. Now we should open the project in our VS code. And the first thing to do, I mean, before creating our front end and server file, we should finish the smart contract part. So the first thing to do in the smart contract part is to configure our hardhead config.js because right now it's very simple and basic. So we will be adding a few things to it, but let me show you what we are adding. First, we are adding two more import lines here, uh, hardhead ignition and .emv. And of course, we will need a networks object here to to deploy our contract to a testnet, phantom testnet, we will need it. And that's it, we are finished with the hardhat config. You should just copy paste it. I mean, you don't need to spend much time on it to understand it. So copy everything in this log contract, and then let's create our contract. I will be naming it as, as Apple. And you know, I will keep it very simple. Here, just delete everything, and also delete everything here. And I told you that it will be very simple. So let's say string public city is equal to Jizre, uh, a city in my hometown. So that's it. But of course, I should change this to Apple as well. That's it, you know, make sure that the compiler version is 0 0.8.24. We are finished with the contract. Now we should create a deployment file. Just copy everything here and let's create it so we will say apple js and we don't need these two variables and also these two variables and yeah so the first line will stay the same model exports build model lock module so we will change this we will say apple module just follow the same naming logic so instead of saying lock i will say apple contract and copy this and paste it here. So M contract lock. No, its name is Apple, whatever the contract name you have. And here, <coughs> the third parameter here is when you want to send some eaters to the contract when you deploy it, so we don't need it. And the second parameter here is for constructor arguments. And we don't have any constructor arguments, so we can just leave it empty. And that's it. It's finished. So the only thing left is the .emv package uh, file, sorry. And I have these two variables here. As you might remember, the RPC endpoint and MetaMask private key. This is the MetaMask private key of my account. And this is the RPC endpoint that I'm using. As I'm using Phantom Testnet, the RPC endpoint is provided for free by the ANKR website. And private key, you should replace this with your private key. Do not use my private key. That's it. Now I can go here, clear up the console, px hardhead file. Now npx hardhead ignition deploy and ignition. Now I need to find these I mean, I need to refer to this, where is it? Yeah, this one, Apple.js. So as you can see, Apple.js is inside the modules folder and modules folder is inside the ignition folder. So ignition modules, Apple.js, and I will be deploying it to Phantom Testnet. 
and that's why I need this network option here phantom test that's it and now you should say yes and it will deploy the contract well yes as you can see the contract is deployed this is the contract address now we can continue on with the front end part so the first thing to do is to create an index html page it will be very simple and also a server file so we will say server.js and inside the server.js i have already created this simple code it's very simple actually let me explain you here we are uh, using some import statements if you know some express you already know this is like a very very easy and here we are listening uh, to some ports we don't have an environment bar variable for the port number but i mean this is like a convention so you should also do the same and we will be listening to port number 5000 and this is only a console log statement and here we are serving uh, index html page this one when we go to the index route Okay, that's it, nothing else. The server.js is finished. So now we can start the index.html page. The first thing to do is to create a simple index.html page structure. And as you can see, we have head tags, simple tags, the name of our app. And then we can, we can create some buttons and some paragraphs. And as you can see, by using those buttons, first we will be connecting to MetaMask by displaying the MetaMask account inside this paragraph tag, uh, tag and then we will be connecting to the contract which we have deployed apple contract and we will be displaying the contract address here and the third here read contract we will read let me show you this data jizre my, my, my city in my hometown we will read this data and display it here in this paragraph tag and we will of course need some style because it will look horrible if we don't add it and we will also need uh, this ethers package and then this is the uh, style that i want to add to this contract as you can see it's very simple nothing complicated and then i can add some uh, paragraph id and button on click uh, function names here and you know right now we can also start to add our uh, JavaScript part, ja this JavaScript part will help us to connect to the contract. So the first thing to add here is of course we can start with the connect MetaMask button and you should make your functions as asynchronous. It will be better. And here I have the account variable because we will be saving the account information inside this variable and from this variable we will be, we will be uh, putting the value here okay and these are some uh, comments that i have added for your information you can read it later and inside this connect metamask we will use an if statement and we will check if the browser has uh, ethereum we are creating a second not this one this is account and this is accounts like plural okay don't mix it and then we are using this uh, code here to access the metamask accounts uh, information and then we but but we don't need all of them we just need the first account the active one and for that reason we can just grab because this will return an array so the first element in that in that array is enough for us that's why we will be referring to it as uh, array index number zero and then we will be displaying this account information inside this account area as it is written here and what we will do is clear. We will just add this account right here and our connection to MetaMask will be complete. So the second function is connect uh, to the contract. This will be actually a little harder. So maybe you can pay attention to this. And after creating our function, we again need a variable outside of our function. So this variable will point us to the contract which we have deployed the variable name will be contract token and and later we will use this variable to access the data and display it here okay so the first thing to do here is to is to create a local uh, variable which is named address you should name it the same as it is here it's a convention and we will be we will be putting our address information here and then we will also create 
the ABI of our contract. So this is the ABI of the contract which I have deployed. And if you are wondering where I got this, you can just go to, let me show you. Yeah, you should go to artifacts and from artifacts go to contracts and then here just find the Apple Sol and go to Apple JSON and here you will find the ABI. Okay, just copy everything but not this comma. Copy everything including those square brackets and then paste it here. And now we are using some uh, eaters uh, code to access, I mean to create this uh, token, contract token variable which will instantiate the contract which we have deployed and we are, I mean these are like, uh, I'm not like discovering something new, this is the common code of Ethers package. So you don't need to understand every part here, just copy paste it, follow the tutorial, okay? And here the contract Apple is equal to new Ethers contract, here we are instantiating the contract which we have deployed, it will be address ABI and signer, address ABI and signer, and then you know we just we can just grab the contract and display the address here so that we understand we have connected the contract okay that's why we are saying document get element by id equal to contract token address so that's it we have finished everything here and the third thing is actually even more simple uh, again it's an asynchronous function and here we are reading data from the contract once we have instantiated our contract but I will just fix this. Mm -hmm. It's not contract token, it's contract Apple. Okay, I mean, just to be more descriptive. And yeah, so contract Apple. So just grab this name here. And let's say const my data is equal to wait contract apple so from contract apple we can access this variable but this variable will act like a function that's why we can call it and then i can just copy everything here and instead of saying contract area this time i need to say read area inner html is equal to my data you know that's it everything is finished now we can go to the command line and here let's initiate the server not server js server is running port 5000 that's great i have made it ready here localhost 5000 so if i press enter yes yeah, as you can see i have three buttons here so if i connect metamask you see it displays my metamask um, account number d35a d35a that's great and if i connect the contract we see it, it displays the contract address that's also great and if i read the contract you see it displays the city name jizra so that's it that's how you connect how you deploy and uh, how you deploy your contract and connect it to html and read some data from it and see you next time bye bye